Hello everyone, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to mod your Sins of the Solar Empire 2. Sorry for doing it this way, but this is the best way I can do it. Show you guys. So you wanna go to your PC programs. Mmm, Steam. Steam apps. Common. And you want to go to your sins to folder. And then right here, you want to go to in your entity folder. Now you can go here and change any ability that you want to change. If you want to buff an ability. Mind you, if you do do this, you're not going to be able to go on online multiplayer. If you like playing multiplayer online, you will not be able to go on online multiplayer. And you would have to change it back or revalidate the files again. So what you want to do is um, come here. Say if you want to change the how many, for example... You want to go to any file that says player file. Now, say if you want to give the... You want to make sure you have notepad or wordpad to come in here and actually change what you want to change. Say if you want to uh, upgrade how much health your planet has or better yet. Say if you don't know how to use mods or don't want to use mod IO and you want to give yourself... Um, I say a bunch of either Titans or a bunch of fleet supply. So you're just going to stroll up here and then fly where it's at. It's going to take some time. This is a lot of stuff here. This is also if you want to change your defenses or how many you want on each planet. So all you're going to really do is just change this number here. Or if you want to change the income rate or crystal rate, you can also change those numbers. You can change, like, if you want to do the unity, how many slots a unity a planet can have. Still trying to find it. It is a lot. Let's so make it bigger. I might be in the wrong folder. Like I said, it's been a minute. But if you want to change any entity. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell did I just do? Don't save. Okay. We fixed it. But this is the gist of what you're going to do. Let's just go in these files right here. And if anything you want to change, it does have um, upgrades. Anything like that you want to change here. And this is where you're also going to find your fleet cap. If you want to change your fleet cap, which I'm trying to find for you guys. But it's been, like I said, it's been a limit. Like, for example, buildable units, like how it is here. See right here, we found the Titan. You can have a limited of four Titans. Now, if I want to change this, say if I want to put 100 Titans, you change it, 
and you'll change it for this specific faction. You have to go to the Advent Loyalist, and you'll change it for that specific faction only. It won't be for every other faction. If you want to manually change it, you're going to have to manually go in there and change it for every faction that you want to do. But this is for PvE type content only. If you want to change your game up for you and you don't do online multiplayer because most people don't do online multiplayer. This is specifically for you right here. You can go in, tweak the files. You can go in any of the folders. If you have a favorite ship you want to give a buff to, you can give a buff to that ship. Just make sure you come back to the file if you mess something up. Re-verify re the files again so they can be set back to normal. And that's basically how you mod. I'm trying to find it to where I can show you guys how you change the fleet cap. This is down here somewhere. I think I might have passed it. But that's the gist of it right here. This is where you're going to find the fleet cap and everything else that you want to change in your files. Just make sure you're clicking on the right one. And I hope this video helped you out. Y'all have a good one.